Hey tennis friends, I'm here at the Costa Mesa Tennis Center in Costa Mesa, California for, well, the Costa Mesa Pro Classic. This is a USTA Pro Circuit event and you know, it seems like it was just a few months ago, back in September, that I was here for a USTA Pro Circuit event. So I'm not sure what's happening with the calendar, but maybe we can find out some more information inside. It's a beautiful day. This is a city park. There's a lot of activity happening, but let's go inside now and see what's happening on the courts. Right now on the main court is a round of 16 battle of two players from the United States. Receiving in the far court is Chris Wettengel. Serving from the near court is, you're not gonna believe me, but his name is Tennis Sandgren. That's right, Tennis Sandgren. After a changeover, Chris Wettengel is in the near court, serving to Tennis Sandgren. I'm here with the winner of that match, Tennis Sandgren. Tennis, that was an amazing three-hour plus match. Yeah, that was an absolute battle. Um, There's so many ups and downs. Uh, I just happened to, to end the match on an up, and uh, it was really good tennis, that's for sure. You had a lot of winners that looked like clear winners to me, but he was scraping and scrapping and pulling some stuff out of Gosh. his magic hat out there. He, uh, he got to a ton of balls. I felt like I, if I hit one, two really good shots, that would normally be a winner, if not a sitter volley. Um, I'm having to hit, dig out really tough shots somehow. Um, he, he won a lot of points where he dug deep, ran down balls, and you're right, pulled them out of his hat. Last week you won the Calabasas Challenger, now you're uh, in the quarterfinals of this one. So uh, do you feel you have a target on your back, or is it just all part of being on the circuit? Uh, maybe a little bit. Um, you know, it's tough to, to, to win a tournament in one week and then come play the next week here. I'm mentally tired, physically tired guys are I'm sure they know that you know they're not they're not dumb they know that you're probably a little fatigued and they're gonna give it their best shot uh, they think it think of it as a good opportunity catch a guy maybe when he's a little off um, that's for sure so I'm, I'm the last first two rounds here I've gotten guys playing some really good tennis I'm standing here right now with Hank Lloyd who is not only the tournament director for this tournament but you're also the uh, director of tennis here at the uh, Costa Mesa Tennis Center is that yeah, correct exactly for City of Costa Mesa and Costa Mesa Tennis Center for the last you know 14 15 years I was just out here in September covering an event here so this is an additional event that's been added to the calendar yeah these two events are additional events that added to the calendar to complement the uh, USTA Pro Circuit schedule for the whole year. Preceding these events, we have what we call wild card events that are involved with kids that anybody can play, and they, anybody that wins the wild card event gets a wild card main draw into the main draw of the event that, that we play uh, on that week. So who is that open to? It's open to anybody. You know, as far as open uh, adults, junior, a lot of times the kids, college kids, that are uh, trying to uh, obviously entertain a fact going, going on the pro circuit, as well as some of the top junior kids that come out to try to see if they can challenge the, uh, the journeymen and the pros that are out there playing to, to make a mark and uh, find out if it's something they want to do. Well, I think it's a great opportunity for anyone in the Southern California area to come out here to the Costa Mesa Tennis Center this September because you've seen the, the highlights that I've shown you from this event and everything. you got to come down here. It's really exciting and it's a lot of fun. And thanks so much. I appreciate you. It's another round of 16 match. In the far court is someone who I first featured when he won the 2010 Easter Bowl and is now the 2011 French Open Junior Champion. He's the only American to hold that title in the Open era since John McEnroe in 1977. Now receiving is Bjorn Fratangelo. Serving in the near court from Brazil is Alessandro Damiano Ventre.
After a changeover, Alessandro Damiano Vintre is in the far court, serving to Bjorn Fratangelo. I'm here with the winner of that match, Bjorn Fratangelo. Bjorn, how you been lately? Uh, a little bit of a struggle, but um, you know, I'm finding my game now. Um, January wasn't a great month for me, so um, didn't really win matches. And um, February and March, you know, have been a lot better. And I've been, um, you know, working with Dustin Taylor now for the past couple of weeks, and alongside my dad, it's been working really well. And um, you know, today I, I think I played pretty well, and I'm starting to find my game on these courts. And um, you know, hopefully I can keep this going. Last week you got knocked out in the first round, and now you've made it into the quarterfinals. So I would say you've uh, improved. Yeah, yeah. Uh, last week was tough. You know, I, qual I had a you know good qualifying matches, and then you know ran into Brian Baker, who's you know always tough anywhere you play. And um, you know, I, I decided I wanted to play qualies here again, even though um, I could have had a wild card. But you know, I won the matches, and, and I think it served me well. And um, yeah, I'm playing good tennis and I'm serving really well, which is something that I've been working on the past couple of days um, nonstop. So, you know, if, if I can keep this up, you know, hopefully I can make a nice run. I haven't seen you and we haven't talked since the Easter Bowl, since you won the Easter yeah. Bowl. You've done pretty well since then, yeah. uh, winning the French Open. So, what? my question is, what is the French Open junior champion doing out here on the California hard courts? You know, I'm, I'm still going to say that I, I like hard courts. You know, I'm American and I'm from Pittsburgh. I grew up indoors, so, um, you know, these fast hard courts aren't um, anything new to me. So it's just, you know, a matter of finding the timing. But, um, you know, I like the clay. It suits my game well. But, um, you know, I, st I still prefer hard courts. It's not like, you know, I'm going to be one of those guys that only plays on clay. Even though I was only able to get a camera position on one court, they actually had three courts of action going today. In fact, both Tennis Sandgren and Chris Wettengill are playing doubles on separate teams and separate courts. Of course, they had to have suitable rest after their matches, so this stuff goes on late into the afternoon. And that's why it's so much fun to come down to these USTA Pro Circuit events. Be sure to go to USTA.com, click on the Pro Circuit, check out their calendar, and see where there's an event coming up near you. Because I tell you, I picked up a couple of things I'm going to add to my game today. I'm going to watch some of these doubles matches. So I'll see you next time with a lot more tennis outside the lines.